More than five decades after the Apollo program ended, a new chapter into lunar exploration is unfolding. This time, a private Texas-based company, Intuitive Machines, supported by NASA and SpaceX, embarked on a historic journey and successfully touched down on the moon. Cheers erupted in Houston's mission control as NASA's administrator, Bill Nelson, congratulated all teams involved in the moon landing. Today, for the first time in the history of humanity, a commercial company, an American company, launched and led the voyage up there. And today is a day that shows the power and promise of NASA's commercial partnerships. Congratulations to everyone involved in this great and daring quest at Intuitive Machines, SpaceX, and right here at NASA. What a triumph. Odysseus has taken the moon. This feat is a giant leap forward for all of humanity. Six. SpaceX Falcon rocket launched the lunar lander developed by Intuitive Machines on February the 15th. This NASA-supported mission aims to kickstart commercial moon deliveries and pave the way for future astronaut missions. So far, only five countries, the U.S., Russia, China, India and Japan, have achieved successful lunar landings. Intuitive machines landed on the moon's southern pole, an area rich in potential resources such as frozen water. NASA plans to send astronauts to this region later this decade, making these navigations and tech experiments crucial for future missions. Previous lunar landings have proven challenging. Astrobotic technology's Peregrine lander encountered difficulties shortly after liftoff in January, while other attempts from Israel and Tokyo have resulted in crashes. America has not returned to the moon's surface since the Apollo program ended in 1972. Intuitive Machines has named its lander after Homer's hero in the Odyssey, symbolizing the epic nature of this mission. And NASA has invested 118 million US dollars in this attempt. After a week on the lunar surface, the Intuitive Machines lander is set to come back down to Earth. Dominic Brian Omondi, TRT World.